Alright, there we go. Oh, that's not even fully full. We got some minutes. <laughs> he grew six and fifteen. Oh, shit. And so, after he had patiently endured, oh, patiently. he obtained the promise. We out here, <laughs> we out here patiently enduring it. What did I, why y'all out there in that cold ass weather teaching? Ain't nobody even listening. Actually, you know, we got all kind of people listening. The angels are listening. Should the angels are listening? Man, we got homeless people listening because y'all like to discount. Y'all like to act like homeless people don't count as people. You know, like they don't count. You know, hey, they, they, no, they don't, they're not real people. You know what I mean? You know, they humans with spirits and they Israelites just like us with spirits. You know, these people really don't have no uh, feeling for the homeless and the. Because we show love to the whacked out people of the world, too. You know, we spend a lot of time talking to crazy people. People afflicted with demons and shit, got spirits on them. We out here to talk to them too. Oh, you might move. We talk to some fucked up people. We yeah, can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. can't understand what the fuck they saying, but we talking to them. We out here to mark all these cars when yep. they see us too. Yeah, just our presence, just a, just a visual of just the, <laughs> them seeing us out here. That's that's something. <laughs> even if they don't even know what the fuck we're doing, that's, that's it. it's still good. They like, I see these motherfuckers on the corner. They was wearing curtains. You know? Look like dope heads. Yeah. Look like dope heads. That's all good, though. But how many times, for real, though, you, like, you think we'd be out here teaching, we done comforted some people. So we're in them old, we done be out here comfort some old ass ladies, homeless people that are beat down, worn down. It feel good when they got somebody to hit them with some, you know, some, some words. Whoo! If I would have known it been this damn cold, boy, I would have brought a fucking. I would have worn some real shit. What is that uh, scripture I'm looking for? What's that Maccabee scripture? Actually, let me just get John 14. <sighs> you got something I was about to read something. Oh, let's, uh, let, me, right, let me get this, man. Let's go into that Russian. Remember oh, okay, yeah, Russian yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I, so, I got it right here. I got well, This ain't the one we're talking about, but it says, uh, it says Russian President Vladimir Putin warns of global chaos. Global chaos. Dumbass America strikes Syria again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Russian President Putin. Yeah. America's going down in a, uh, a blaze of fire and flames. Y'all know that, right? Lake of fire, huh? Yo, precious America is about to get burnt to smithereens. <laughs> yeah, America, God <laughs> took a shit on thee. <laughs> For real. God bless this place. Yeah, it's a goddamn America. That just feels good saying that, don't it? Oh, when you just say, when you just say, oh, just say, it, just goddamn America. Oh, it man. just feels so good to say that. Yes, sir. Well, it feels like music, bro. You're it, breaking their hearts, man. It feels so fulfilling and satisfying You're saying their that. Hearts, man. <laughs> it does. Just goddamn America. Yeah, fuck America. Yeah, fuck America. Freebies forever in America for everybody. Fuck America. They you don't even put their fucking. Let me hear. Uh, fuck I'm America. Free. I serve my country. Fuck I you. serve my country, Israel. Bro. It's not your country, bro. It's a corporation, hey, bro. Y'all stole this country. Oh. Yeah, you stole this country. Oh. America was a nation founded by slaves. Yeah. The founding fathers were slave owners. They own I hear you. Please speak louder, bro. That's the difference of you. Hey. You try to out talk me. So, hey. So, Thomas Jefferson's your man, right? George Washington had slaves. Yeah, George Washington had a whole slave plantation. That's your people, right? Freemason. Yeah, fuck America. Fuck out of here. Where are you from? I'm from Israel. I'm from the Holy Land. I'm from the land of milk and honey. Motherfucker. Bitch. Whatever. Israel. Okay then. The, you, what's the, what the Jews over there? They're the real Jews? No, they took that land too. This is like a motherfucker forever. took right this now, land. Right now, that place is the unholy land. Hey, don't worry though. No. America's gonna be destroyed. Got over in Tel Aviv. That was the devil. Magic parade right now goes on in Tel Aviv, Israel. You know, so that's the unholy <laughs> land right now. <laughs> and America's the kingdom of Satan, the, the kingdom of devils. 
That's all you see out here is devils. They ain't people, you're devils. Fucking snakes. It's Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. So America's gonna get destroyed from off the face of the earth. Talk louder, man. I can all talk you. <laughs> hey, you get me in the spirit, bro. I talk loud as hell. I can all talk you. <laughs> Boy, I'm a, I'm a human megaphone. I don't even. They, they, they don't understand. They just they fire us up, make us talk louder. Now everybody hearing. Yeah, he got mad as hell, didn't he? I served this country, you sons of bitches. Man, and really, if you join the military, that just means you're a dumbass. That's all that means. I, I, I was in the Marines too. That means I was a dumbass. I own my, I own my own uh, mistakes. What they call them? Uh, I forgot what it's called. It sounds like a, like a, like a. Yeah, I know they call them jarheads. But some jarheads. They call them jarheads. Some it's like a, like a cannon, or something like cannon. Jarheads. Like, cannon fodder. Cannon fodder. Yeah, you're cannon fodder. Yeah, if you're in the Marines, you're just cannon fodder. A cannon fodder is like pawns. You're a pawn. You're, 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 you're you just, you're uh, disposable. Hey, Metallica had a song called uh, Disposable Heroes. It's a badass song. It had a song, the lyrics go back to the front. You will die when I say. You know what I mean? Hey, that's a, that's a good song to listen to. It's about, you know, cannon fodder. Because everybody, they think they're protecting your country, joining the military. You're a dumbass. You're not protecting shit. You're actually helping take your freedoms away even more by joining the military. Right. You know what I mean? You're fucking pawn for the elites. Right? Yep. A pawn. That's all you're doing. A pawn. Going, all right, going to kill some fucking innocent people. Fucking. I mean, they got answers for the murders, too. Yeah. They joined hand in hand with the devil. You made it a covenant with Satan. You gotta own that shit, you know? Yeah. Not to Putin. <laughs> Russian President Putin Rasmus. has warned that further Western attacks on Syria will bring chaos to world affairs as Washington prepared to increase pressure on Russia right. with new economic sanctions. So we praying that Trump, you know, shoot more missiles on Syria. I, I was mad he didn't shoot all those missiles. Well, that new, you know, that false flag can come again. Right? Yeah. They're gonna, they gonna, because America has the largest stockpile of chemical weapons. Yeah, well, America has chemical weapons, but right. it's gonna attack someone else for having them. Right. Just like they want to attack North Korea for having nukes, but they got nukes. Wait a minute, what, 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 they, what are they doing when they spraying us with chemtrails, putting poison in the water? Ain't that the same shit? They put fluoride in the water. Monsanto, right? An American company. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And that's what the dead word devil means, deceit. And that same devil is accusing people of what he's fucking guilty of. Man, I hope, I just, if they start another war, I just hope they implement the draft and start drafting these fools, man. Man, I got an article on the draft on my tablet, man. Empty these streets out. It's about to pop off. That draft coming. Hey, empty these streets out real quick. <laughs> Bring some peace to the neighborhood. Empty the motherfuckers out. Motherfuckers Send your ass, give your ass an M16. Take your ass to Syria. <laughs> Yeah. That great war they gonna need soldiers. Oh, they gonna they, they gonna need them. They gonna need soldiers. Right, they was killing Jake in Vietnam, boy. That was only for like what 30, 40 years ago. That was not even that long time ago. When we was kids, it was recent. You know what I mean? Wow, wow. And that was how many Jakes died doing that? Oh, man, wow. You know they just shipping your ass off to die. Coming back with PSSD. Just so Esau could sell his drugs. <laughs> PTSD. And they showed you that Vietnam was all about uh, it was all started by a false flag with the Gulf of Tonkin. Just like <laughs> that new war is started by a false flag in Syria. That's right. That's right. Post traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> That's what they get. Yep. You got more of that article? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. well, well, forget about In it. In a telephone conversation with his Iranian counterpart, Hussein Rouhani, Mr. Putin and Rouhani agreed the Western strikes had damaged the chances of achieving, achieving political resolution <laughs> in the seven year Syrian conflict. It's been going on for a minute. Hey, we've been talking about Syria, making videos talking about Syria for damn seven years. Damn, it's been going on for. Right. Because when, uh, when Obama was in office, 
Obama was talking about attacking Syria, and Trump criticized Obama for doing what he just did. Just a couple years ago, Trump was talking shit about Obama for shooting missiles on Syria. Now he doesn't. You know? Because they all work for the same people. Obama and Trump work for the same people. But you know, the average American is a retard, so they're not going to understand that. They can't comprehend that, you know? They, they, they just, Cause Esau yeah. did it. Oh, go ahead. So I'm back. They, they acting like, which is true, but they acting like when Trump came in, oh shit, America's through. It's been through, but it been when through. Obama was in, in president, that shit was still through at that time. That shit been acting like, me, make yeah. America great again. Yeah. <laughs> this shit got worse. It didn't even get great. They acting like it just now started when this motherfucker came in office. This shit wasn't even never great oh, to begin oh, with. <laughs> that one? Oh. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm for one day we really gonna be teaching. We really gonna go to Super Saiyan. We gonna power. We gonna level over nine thousand. You gonna go over nine thousand on your ass? It's gonna be over. Trevor, you just get. I'm, I'm angry and happy, and I got all these feelings at once. You know, like one minute people. That's because we're crazy. One minute, you know, you're mad as fuck. Next minute, you're laughing. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, the scripture says, surely make it, surely oppression. What, Ecclesiastes, was that seven and seven? Is that seven and seven? It says, surely oppression make the wise man mad. And mad mean crazy. Because really, if you live in this world, you're going to be kind of crazy. If you got any kind of wisdom, you're going to be crazy. Get it? The fucking whack that world. If you know what's really going on, how this shit really works, and how it really runs, you'll go crazy. Yeah. Just, just the sight of these buildings make you fucking crazy. Like, I, I just don't. That shit affects me, you know. Yeah, bless. Some, I want some wholesome, good, wholesome, clean pussy. Yep. I want to eat good, you know. Yeah. I want yeah. some freedom. I want some. I want to. I want some good sleep. You ain't getting <laughs> none of that. <laughs> you ain't getting none of that. Woo! That's how I like the kingdom. He said, "Get some sleep." <laughs> Man, I ain't had no goddamn sleep. Right, right, right. You might have to get. What's that shit they be taking to sleep? The. Uh, that fucks up your brain. Ambient. That ambient. Oh, oh, I was watching that. I was good to go. Chris Brown. Let's go with you. What's up, man? What's happening? My nigga. My nigga. You initial life. You know that, don't you? Huh? You initial life. Yeah, you initial life. Yeah. Where you from, bro? Oh, for real? Oh, I thought you talked like you had an accent or something. I thought you. Uh, I thought you was from Ghana. Shit. Yeah. You don't believe in a Bible? Where's your Bible at? It's a home. So you 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 know about the Bible? Yeah. You've read it? You've been to church? Yeah. You never been to church? All right, now this is your first time actually going to church. Well, you, I don't know if you're gonna stay here, or not, but this is actual church. This is it right here. The church is supposed to be out in the open where people can see. You. Not those buildings, you know. I got a I got a precept for that. Right. Not them buildings. Some buildings is what demons and devils like. Definitely demons. <laughs> uh, right. Acts 7 and uh, 48. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, save the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? This is the Lord's house right here. This is the Lord's house that we're building. Okay, the temple's made with hands. The carpenter take that brick, lay it with whatever this fuck, put another brick on it, lay another, and just build that temple with hands. The Lord's not in no churches. You know? The church is just there to get some money. I like what you just say. Or to get your wife. Like well, you always say, the real temple, that's your temple right here, is the temple of the mind. That's right. That's right. It's the first, uh, first Corinthians 3 16. Know you not that you are the temple of God? Oh! Remember the house we're building? It's building with the men of the Lord. Yeah, really, because you, I'm a brick, you a brick, he's a brick. You put all them bricks together, you got a house. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. 
If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So that means you can't be going out there laying with another man. Yep. You can't be going out there doing all kind of dope. Eating pork. You know, you, you gotta, there's a dietary law. You know, there's laws. This book is not just a history book, it's a book of laws. Doing drugs and shit. Laws and commandments, you know? And prophecies. You know, prophecy. There is no other book written on the planet Earth that has prophecies but the Bible. Me and prophecy talking about what's going to happen in the end of the days, World War III, right. the microchip, yeah. Mark of the Beast. We're in that time now. We're in that time now. You know, the all hell is about to break loose. And that's when all hell break loose. That's when the Lord is about to break loose. One breath, you curse, the other you talk about oh, the Lord. Lord. That's where it's a Just safe, safe God. life. That's a right. life. Safe kind of life. Safe marriage. Might as well sit down. Saying? I, you was listening because you heard it. Audio Satan. Satan's book. All right, Jazzy. See, when the truth comes out, Satan comes along with it. Okay? That's just Jezebel. Have, you gotta have an adversary. That's just the spirit, the, the, the demonic spirit of Jezebel. She's lurking on the streets. So she she used to kill our forefathers. She back in the reincarnation. That's right. That's right. <laughs> It's like that, nah, bro, because when you come out and teach this, you watch the spirits get stirred up. They ain't nowhere in the Bible to say you can't cuss. You gonna tell me the Lord, the God killed everybody in the flood, he gonna get mad if you say shit. You, you know man, what I mean? Right? You a man, right? You can speak how you wanna speak. Right. Ain't no no laws in the Bible to say you can't say shit. Are they all kind of the word damn is in the Bible, hell's in the Bible, piss is in the bitches in the Bible. Or heifer. Whore. Bastard. Bastard. Damn. Dude. Dung, yeah, dung means shit, right. In the New Testament, what's that, there's a scripture, what is that, in Philippians, when I count everything but dung? But in the Greek, though, you know, the New Testament was written in Greek. So actually, in the original Greek writings, Paul, the Apostle Paul, actually was using real Greek cuss words. Actual Greek cuss words. But we ain't like just cussing to be cussing, because that's just cool. That's just regular talking speech. Hey, King, you know? David, King David said what? He said, kill every man that pisseth against the wall. Yep. <laughs> that, that's yeah. like, that corresponds to the, the modern saying, saying of, I want every swinging dick out here. That sounds like music yeah. to my ears. That's like one of them old, that's what you call a, a Hebrew idiom, every man that pisseth against the wall. I mean, we want all the men out here. Check this out. 11 and, this is 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. But though I be rude in speech. But though I be rude in speech, this is the Apostle Paul speaking. Yet, not in knowledge. But not not in knowledge. So <laughs> Paul can hey, read that in uh, chapter 10 where he talks about his speech was despicable. In chapter 10 and something, I forget the exact scripture. He says about I'll terrify you by letters or something like that. Yeah, because Paul talked rude. He said he talked rude in speech. Because if you see the Apostle Paul. Well, you already see the Apostle Paul today. Because everything reincarnated. You know reincarnations in the Bible? So the, so the apostles and the disciples, it was in the Bible, they back walking around. We don't know who they are, because nobody knows that, but everybody's back in the reincarnation. You know what I mean? So if Paul's back in the reincarnation today, he gonna be cussing fools out. I mean, if they not coming correct, if you come up here and you out of line, you're going to get cursed out, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. That's the way the Lord set it up. You said 2 Corinthians 10? Uh, 10 and... Uh... <laughs> I know, he, that first he came, he did kind of look like Chris Brown a little bit. Let me see. I don't know where it's at. I know what I'm going to I just got to say, I don't know. Where you at? Oh, it's 10. <laughs> Ten and ten. Ten and nine or ten and ten, something like that. This is 2 Corinthians ten and nine. That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. All right, because Paul wrote a lot of letters, okay? Because he's always he said that he was terrified. People read his letters, you know, they get like, man, Paul laying it down. Right. Go ahead. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful. Because his letters, his writing is because when you sit down to write something, you taking your time with it, whatever. But he said his uh, his writings are weighty and powerful. Go ahead. That's but, his writings. But go ahead. But his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Oh, his speech is contemptible. So in person, his writing is the one thing, but in person, the way he speaks in person, <laughs> his bodily presence was weak and his speech was contemptible. You no, know, con a contemptible speech is, you know, you got a dirty it's mouth. It's challenging. Cursing motherfuckers right, out. Right. 
You know, you know how we talk in the hood, bro. We call everything shit. Everything's fuck this, fuck that. Motherfuck this, motherfuck that. That's just how we talk. You know what I mean? And now, if you talk to these people any other way, guess what? They're not going to understand you. So if I come out here talking perfect English, our people ain't going to understand this. They're going to think I'm a... Who's this fucking weirdo? You talking white. Yeah, you talk, you talk like a... Yeah, you talk like a fucking... Like a weirdo. You know, nobody talks perfect English. You got to talk that hood shit, or motherfuckers ain't going to understand you. You know what I mean? It's the only way they comprehend. You got to speak their language. Oh, look, let me get it. I got a scripture for that one. Hey, let me read, because I'm going to tell you who we, who we teaching. This is who we teaching. Ezekiel 2 and 1, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. People on that sign. I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. So these people are rebellious. That's who we talking to. To a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And a good way to begin by not being rebellious against the Lord is to start learning what we know. You know? There ain't no other way to come into this. You gotta come in in a straight way, a difficult way, you know what I'm saying? So just doing what you're doing, listening. Uh, That's and, how it begins. Yep. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And here, I'm just going to get more into it. And thou, son of man, see, this is a key point for us. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. People coming that want to fight us, they kill us, they threaten us. That's just a woman. That's just an example. But we'll, we'll have like dudes come up here, threaten us with violence, say they're gonna kill us, all kind of stuff. I'm getting afraid of these people. They, these people are full of shit. They, they all, what they say? They, they dogs. Uh, you know, a dog is all bark and no bite. Hey man, the you know? bitches will come and knock the shit out of you. They, they will they, before the they man. They will sneak your way, right? They will sneak your way. Get a woman totally out of order. Right. The one, the, all these all women, you can see it. They totally fucking out of order. Fuck yeah. You gotta watch these women. Yep. My but, sister's known to cut motherfuckers. You gotta watch these women. Oh, my sister's crazy. Shit, my sister got AIDS and smoke mess. Oh, Lord. Shit. Look, and thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Did the Lord call these people scorpions? Be not afraid of their words. Neither be dismayed by their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Cause you know, our people, they, they they try to look all. They give you that gangster look. They think they, you know what I mean? They start throwing up signs and shit on you. You know what I mean? They ain't scared of none of that, bro. And now shall yeah, we ain't we fearless out here. And now shall speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Like that one bitch, she said, "Ain't nobody even listening to y'all." Ain't nobody even listening. Go ahead, bitch. Well, we said we supposed to teach you whether you listen or not. Right. That's what that's what the Lord said. Ain't nobody listening, but she had to make that comment. Anybody listening? You must be listening, bitch. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, well, you what, bitch? You was listening. You heard me. Right. You know. And we can call her a bitch. We got a description to say we can call her a bitch. Yeah, we can right. prove it. Hey, get the bitch scripture. Right. This brother gonna learn all the scriptures today. <laughs> where we at? Uh. I'm frozen, bro. Z go two and eight. Going downtown, man. You work? Yeah. Oh shit. Work down here every day. Oh, he, I know you need a coat too, bro. I got a jacket. I know you cold. You're right. We down here every Monday, man. The same time. You know, like you want to come back and learn. So you won't have no excuse that you couldn't find it. We down here the same time every Monday. Every Monday. You ain't never seen us down here. Okay, 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 that's good. 
Well, y'all know you got YouTube. We on YouTube, uh, well, yeah, man, we 